Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to find the center and the radius of a circle given the equation of the circle. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Write the equation of the circle from general form to standard form. Letter B. Determine the center and radius of a circle given its equation. And letter C. Appreciate the use of equation of a circle in finding solutions to real-life problems and decision-making. Let's find first the center and the radius of a circle, given the standard form of the equation of a circle. Let's have our first example. Find the center and the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9. The equation of the circle is in standard form. Hence, if it is in standard form, we can easily identify the center and the radius of the circle by transforming it in center radius form. So we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, the center radius form, if the center of the circle is at the origin. All we need to do is to follow the center radius form. So we have the given x squared plus y squared equals 9. And then since 9 is a perfect square, we will get its factor which is 3 times 3 or 3 raised to the second power. So therefore, the center radius form of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 3 to the second power. And the center of the circle is at the origin and has a coordinates of 0, 0. And its radius r is equal to 3. And one thing we need to remember is that the radius of the circle is always positive. Let's have our second example. Find the center and the radius of the circle, the quantity of x minus 6 to the second power plus the quantity of y plus 3 to the second power equals 49. So the equation of the circle is in standard form, therefore we can easily get the center and the radius of the circle by transforming it in center radius form. If the vertex is not on the origin of the circle, the center radius form is in the format of the quantity x minus h to the second power plus the quantity y minus k to the second power equals r to the second power. We will rewrite the equation here. And then after that, since 49 is a perfect square, we will get its factor, which is 7 times 7, or 7 raised to the second power. Therefore, the quantity x minus 6 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 3 to the second power equals 7 to the second power is the center radius form of the equation of the circle. And we can get the center of the circle by changing the sign of negative 6. It will become positive 6. Then we have positive 3, it will become negative 3. So the coordinates of the center of the circle is 6, negative 3. And the radius is equal to 7. So let's have another set of examples. So the equation will be x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. What will be the center of the circle? Since the center is at the origin because it has no value of h and k, therefore the coordinates of the center is at 0, 0. And to get the radius, we will look at the value of the constant here and we will check if it is a perfect square. Since 36 is a perfect square, we will get its factor, which is 6 to the second power. So the value of the radius is equal to 6. Next, let's have another example. The quantity of x minus 9 to the second power plus y squared is equal to 20. So to get the value of the center, this one will be the value of 
H, we will change the sign negative, it will become positive 9. And then since there is no value of K here, so the value of K will be equal to 0. So the center of the circle is at the coordinates 9, 0. And to get the radius, we will look at the constant number here. And then we will check if it is a perfect square. Since 20 is not a perfect square, we will just get the square root of 20. So the value of the radius is square root of 20. Or if we will simplify square root of 20, that will be 2 square root of 5. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then 4 times square root of 5 is square root of 20. Next, let's have the equation. The quantity of x plus 8 to the second power plus the quantity of y minus 7 to the second power equals 64. Since the value of h here is positive 8, it will become negative 8. And the value of k here is negative 7, it will become positive 7. So the value of the coordinates of the center of the circle is negative 8 and positive 7. And then to get the radius of the circle, we will check if 64 is a perfect square. Since 64 is a perfect square, we can get its square root. So square root of 64 is equal to 8. And the factor of 64 is 8 times 8 or 8 to the second power. Therefore, the radius is equal to 8. And then let's have our last example. We have the quantity of x minus 11 to the second power plus the quantity of y minus 4 to the second power equals 40. So to get the center of the circle, we will get the value of h. Since this is negative 11, it will become positive 11. The value of k, since this one is negative 4, it will become positive 4. So the center of the circle is at the coordinates 11, 4. And then after that, we will get the radius. We will get the square root of 40. Since 40 is not a perfect square, then the radius of the circle is square root of 40. Or if we will get the simplest form, that is 2 square root of 10. 2 to the second power is 4. 4 times square root of 10 is equal to square root of 40. Let's now have an example in finding the center and the radius of a circle if the given equation is in general form. Let's have our first example. Find the center and the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. So this equation is in general form. So what we must do first is to transform this equation into center radius form. We will copy first x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. And then after that, we will group the terms of x and terms of y. So we have x squared followed by plus 6x plus y squared minus 8y. And then the constant term positive 9, we will transpose it to the other side of the equation. Positive 9, it will become negative 9. And then after that, we will perform completing the square. We will put an open and close parenthesis here. So we have x squared plus 6x. Then we will put a blank here. Plus open parenthesis. We have y squared minus 8y. And then we will put again here a blank equals negative 9. And then after that, to get the value of the third term in terms of x, we will divide the constant number here by 2. So we will divide 6 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And then we will square the answer. So 3 to the second power will be equal to 9. So the number here will be equal to positive 9. And then again, we will repeat the process here. So we have here negative 8. So we will divide negative 8 by 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4. And then we will square negative 4. Negative 4 to the second power is equal to positive 16. 
And then after that, whatever number we add here on the side of the equation, we will add the number here on the side of the equation too. So we have negative 9 plus 9 plus 16. And then after that, we will factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. Since this is a perfect square trinomial, we will just get the square root of x squared and that is x. And then we will get the square root of the third term which is d. So the factor of x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to the quantity of x plus 3 raised to the second power. And then we will repeat the process. We will get the square root of y squared, that is y. And then we will get the square root of 16, that is equal to 4. Since the sign of the second term here is negative, the sign will be negative 4. Then after that, we will add negative 9 plus 9 plus 16 is equal to positive 16. Therefore, the standard form of the equation of the circle is the quantity of x plus 3 to the second power plus the quantity y minus 4 to the second power equals 16. And then, we will transform it in center radius form. Since 16 is a perfect square, we will get its square root, that is 4, and we will raise it to the second power. So this will be the center radius form. And then, after we have compute for the center radius form, we can now get the center, which is the value of h will be equal to negative 3. And the value of k, we will change the sign here, negative, it will become positive 4. So the value of k is equal to 4. Therefore, the center of the circle is negative 3, positive 4, and the radius is equal to 4. Let's have our last example. Find the center and the radius of the circle for x squared plus 4y squared minus 4x minus 20y minus 10 equals 0. Since the equation is in the general form, we must get first the center radius form. We will rewrite 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4x minus 20y minus 10 equals 0. And then after that, we will bring down 4x squared and then followed by negative 4x plus 4y squared minus 20y. Then we will transpose negative 10. It will become positive 10. And then after that, we will divide this both sides by 4. Because the general form of the equation of the circle must start in x squared and y squared. So we will divide it by 4 to cancel 4 in 4x four squared and 4y squared. So 4x squared divided by 4 is equal to x squared. Negative 4x divided by 4 is equal to negative x. And then 4y squared divided by 4 is equal to y squared. And then negative 20y divided by 4 is equal to negative 5y. And then 10 divided by 4 is 10 over 4. And then after that, we will perform completing the square. So open parentheses, bring down x squared minus x. Then we will provide a space here plus the quantity of y squared minus 5y and then again we will provide a space here equals 10 over 4 and then after that we will divide the numerical coefficient of the second term here which is equal to negative 1 by 2 so negative 1 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1 half and the negative 1 half we will square the number so negative 1 half times negative 1 half is equal to positive 1 fourth. And then we will repeat the process here. We will divide negative 5 by 2. That is negative 5 over 2. And then we will square negative 5 over 2. That is negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 over 2. That is equal to 25 over 4. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4. So positive 25 over 4. And then whatever number we add here, we will add also here on this side of the equation. So plus 1 4 plus 25 over 4 plus 10 over 4. And then after that, since this is a perfect square trinomial, we will get the square root of x squared that is equal to x and then we will get the square root of positive one fourth 
that is positive one half and we will get the sign of the second term which is negative so this will be negative one half raised to the second power plus the quantity of square root of y squared is y and then again we will get the square root of the last term that is 25 over 4 square root of 25 over 4 square root of 25 is 5 square root of 4 is equal to 2 and then we will get the sign of the second term that is negative 5 over 2 raised to the second power equals since this is similar fraction because it has the same denominator we will just add the numerator and then copy the denominator so 10 plus 1 plus 25 is equal to 36 copy 4 and then we will simplify we have the quantity x minus 1 half to the second power plus the quantity y minus 5 over 2 to the second power equals 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9 and then we will get the center radius form we will just determine if 9 is a perfect square and it is a perfect square so 9 will be equal to 3 squared so this will be the center radius form and we can now easily get the center and the radius of the circle so the center will be negative one half since this is negative one half negative one half it will become positive one half since this is negative five over two this will become positive five over two so the center of the circle has the coordinates one half and five over two and the radius of the circle will be equal to three